Hey guys, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what you should be doing anytime you're inside the closed guard. So anytime you're inside the closed guard, that's a very, very dangerous position to be in against someone that knows what they're doing. With their legs wrapped around you, they have a lot of control of your body. And since they have that control, there's a lot of opportunities to make you fall, lose your balance, break your posture, and make you give things that you normally wouldn't give. So the, op uh, or the closed guard position is a very, very dangerous position. And there's a few key elements that you need to know to be safe anytime you're inside the closed guard. So the first thing is posture. Your posture is your primary defense anytime you're inside the closed guard. And there's some minor details that will make you extremely difficult to break down anytime you're sitting inside the closed guard. So posture is your primary defense. Also, you're gonna need to understand how to open the legs so that you can start to pass the guard. As long as your opponent is able to keep his legs crossed around you, he's gonna have a lot of control of you with his legs. So once you're able to get your posture, the second step is always how to open the legs so that you can start to pass and improve your position. And the last thing is how to stay safe against all of these attacks. So even though your posture is very important, if your posture ever gets broken down, there are some very, very simple secrets and some key details that will help you to stay safe from all the submissions. So in this module, I'm gonna share with you guys ideas on how to keep posture even when someone's grabbing your collar, even when someone's grabbing your sleeve, even when they're pulling with their arms and legs to try to break you down, how to open the legs which is really important so that you can begin to pass the guard. So there's some ways to open the legs from the knees, from the bottom, and I'll explain to you the concepts of why you might wanna open from the knees as opposed to standing up, or ways to open by standing up and how to maintain your balance and how to prevent from getting swept when you stand up to be able to open the legs. And last, how to stay safe from submissions from inside the closed guard. Here are seven reasons why you should believe and trust what I call hidden jiu-jitsu is not the jiu-jitsu you nor your training partners and probably even your instructors are familiar with. These are hidden details that rarely are taught outside of the Gracie family. One, I've taken my training with Hickson dead serious from day one. I left my family, my friends, everyone I knew in Oklahoma with little more than clothes on my back 20 years ago to learn jiu-jitsu from the man himself. 20 years later, I still teach that jiu-jitsu dead serious. Reason number two, it's well known that Hickson did not give out black belts generously and has always been one of the stingiest belt promoters in all of jiu-jitsu. Well, I got my blue belts in six months, faster than anyone underneath them ever. And I got my purple belt in two years. That's absolutely unheard of for one of his students to advance to purple belt that quickly. When he gave me my black belt, no one had received their black belt from Hickson faster than I did. And to my knowledge, that still hasn't changed. Three, Hoxson was Hickson's oldest son, and he was one of my best friends and my main training partner. Four, because of my close relationship with Hickson and Hoxson, I personally got to see secrets that were never shared outside the family. And this is the first time a lot of those details will be shared with the jiu-jitsu community. Five, I participated in and won challenge matches even at White Belt at Hickson's Academy, fighting on his behalf, on the behalf of my teammates and the Gracie name. Six, as a Blue Belt, I was trusted to already start teaching the introductory program that Hickson had going at UCLA. By Brown Belt, five years later, I was already teaching as one of the head instructors at his school, and in 2004, I became the head instructor. Seven, I personally witnessed him regularly dismantling visiting world-class black belts and world champions. All those stories you hear about this guy, that guy, and all that stuff that went down behind closed doors, more often than not, I was one of the few eyewitnesses. What I'm sharing with you will not be secondhand, it's firsthand. I've seen it, I've felt it, and I've taught it and continue to teach it every day for well over a decade. Remember, Hidden Jiu-Jitsu isn't theory, it's exactly what Hickson taught to just a few of us. My love, appreciation, and respect for the Gracie family knows no bounds, 
and I've yet to find someone who can explain to me if there are no secrets and if the information is all out there then how can you explain how Crone, his son, is the only black belt under Hickson to make a major splash in the highest levels of jiu-jitsu? The short answer is, you can't. Hickson's core concept of defense was given to him by his father, Elio. Elio's entire game was based around being able to avoid and escape any attack in any position from any opponent and at any time. The ability to stay safe at all times in all positions was priority number one and nobody embodied this principle better than Hickson. And when you see the details, you'll be mind blown. Your training partners will shake their heads in frustration as you become completely unstoppable with these hidden jiu-jitsu systems and strategies. This Just listen to what some of these people who've trained with me have to say about hidden jiu-jitsu. Incredible details, the pressure this guy has, the technique he has, the, the ability to, to answer your questions and um, convey the techniques and the theory behind the jiu-jitsu that he practices that he learned from Hickson is phenomenal. Uh, if you can't learn directly from Hickson, I think this is the next best thing. Uh, Henry is like a skill multiplier. It's not just, you know, do this and this and this. It's, it's all about concepts and, and, and how to apply things in a way that can be used in any situation. It was an amazing experience, unbelievable. One of the things that you notice is that it's really concept-based as opposed to technique-based. So it's something that I feel I can take and implement in my game and just keep improving on and improving on to make my game more effective. I know at one point during the seminar, I, I said, I've never felt so stupid before, or it's been a long time since I felt so stupid. And it was just because some of the things are so obvious and so simple, um, and it seemed, uh, Henry did a great job making us realize we've made jujitsu a lot more complex than it needs to be. Henry Akins, it was absolutely incredible. Henry, uh, uh, we're very blessed to have Henry come in and showing us some of the what, we, what I consider some of the raw techniques in, in jiu-jitsu, some of the true basic uh, moves that are not taught. They're, the thing I love about what Henry does is it's not uh, complicated, it's very simple, but the beautiful, the beautiful thing about it is is that beans, they're simple, they're very effective. My name is Pete Wilhelm, Hinato Tavares Black Belt. I've been training jiu-jitsu for about 19 years. I own my own gym in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, named Trying Fight Center. Henry Atkins Seminar will blow you away. Ultimately, he's just a he's a phenomenal teacher, phenomenal instructor, and it's a seminar or instruction you just don't want to miss. Quite frankly, really mind blowing. I've been going through about the last six months of kind of wanting to go back to some basic stuff and refine stuff because I didn't want to end up as an upper belt that didn't know how to use his closed guard, couldn't escape positions, and this weekend was shockingly simple, uh, but mind blowing in terms of depth of. What, what's possible with those techniques, the way that Henry could break things down and make them easily digestible in short order was incredible, so I couldn't recommend it highly enough. The training here was phenomenal. Henry, uh, his jiu-jitsu is just unbelievable. Uh, definitely is going to increase my game phenomenally. phenomenally. Just got done training three days with Henry Akins and a uh, huge help to my game. You know, Henry's a uh, the theory behind Jiu-Jitsu is it's not a collection of techniques, Techniques. it's just a, a philosophy of understanding the basics and he really helped me uh, really fine tune my basics and just really clean up my game a lot. I would recommend absolutely training with him, it would help your game immensely, it definitely helped mine. I've been training for five years and there's a lot of things, basic things that I thought I knew that I didn't know as well as I thought I did and it really helped out a lot. Henry's Jiu-Jitsu has really molded my game and changed it. It's made it go leaps and bounds just because of the simplicity and connection. I think uh, his game fits into what everybody says jiu-jitsu is felt. And when you really feel what his, his principles and conceptual jiu-jitsu, it's totally, totally different than anything I've ever felt before. I would have to say that until I did this seminar with Henry Akins, my ability to feel like I could progress in the art of jiu-jitsu was very limited. I felt like it was all focusing on attributes, uh, strength, explosiveness, power, uh, encyclopedic type of uh, memorization process that I just don't have a really good uh, ability to, to uh, uh, learn things in that way. I'm more of a systems type, type thinker, not, not uh, random uh, odds and ends. And so I felt very stymied in my progress in jujitsu. And Henry's approach was completely different totally different and I feel like in one weekend I made more progress than what I've made in the last two years 
almost three years of consistency. So cannot endorse Henry Aiken's approach enough. If you have an opportunity to train with him, I would beg, borrow, steal, kill, anything that you need to do to get to that event. Pretty much um, how great it is and how simple it is, um, even at my level, to help me survive against the higher ranked belts and maybe take it a little bit further as I learn more. The simplicity, the, the how simple it is to do it, to learn it, and how it effective it is towards the goal of either submission or surviving. If you get a chance, definitely jump on it. I can say that training with Henry has been the my favorite experience uh, when it comes to jiu-jitsu just because I feel like I learn the most. His uh, methodology and approach is very accessible for anyone regardless of we, we hear this a lot, size, strength, that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter with what Henry's showing you. It's quite simple, but quite magical. I, I don't know how to describe it other than if you get a chance, you have to check it out. If you have any interest in jiu-jitsu, my guess is it will turn your jiu-jitsu world upside down. Training with Henry, I find the finer details of techniques that you already know make all the difference. Just the final little points. Henry Aiken, all the stuff he showed was pretty much life changing for Jiu Jitsu, changed up my entire game. Can't wait to take it back to the Academy. Third seminar with Henry Aiken. I came here because everything is um, designed to uh, correspond to self defense and is completely applicable to uh, the job that I have. I ride the street, and everything that I've been taught by uh, Henry um, has been applicable to my job. Great technique, great guy, and uh, I really enjoy the training. I've known Henry for about 10 years. Uh, I've got to say, we've uh, learned a tremendous amount, um, and it's really all about the details. So, thank you very much. Uh, I came out to learn from Henry, and this experience has been unbelievable. It really revolutionized my game. Forever, I would train with guys that would just feel heavy, and I could never have that type of top pressure, that game. And now I have it. I'll never pass the guard the same way. Um, really, I've been up at night keeping myself up, thinking about jiu-jitsu in a whole different way, just from what I've learned from Henry over the past five days. The seminar was absolutely incredible. I, uh, I learned so many things that I thought I knew that I really didn't know well. Uh, a ton of details that, that were really critical that I had, had never seen before on some really, really simple things. It's very, very similar to the way that I, I play my game. I like the very, very simple stuff. I'm a little older, not as mobile, and, and uh, I learned a lot of things to help, my, uh, uh, help me finish a lot more effectively, which is one of my bigger problems. And uh, I, like I said, I saw so many things that, uh, that you would think that, that in 10 years I probably would have picked up, but I never did, that, uh, that was just absolutely outstanding today. I mean, it's, a, it's the best seminar I've been to. Most, but certainly the most relevant for uh, for why I did you did see. Exceeded my very high expectations. Henry's instruction was amazing. Learned a lot, uh, look forward to doing it again. And uh, the seminar with Henry today was amazing. It always is. Uh, I've been lucky enough to have a few seminars with him now, and it's just, it's, I like the whole invincibility, defense type stuff that he teaches. It's, it's amazing. I've trained with some of the best people in the world, best competitors in the world. I've done seminars with some of the best in the world, and uh, ever since I started, first started with Jiu-Jitsu, uh, Henry's been on my short list of guys to train with. You know, he's from my hometown, and uh, uh, finally had the opportunity to come here to Redline and train with him, and it was uh, it was phenomenal. I mean, it was everything that I expected it would it would be and more. Uh, Henry's uh, uh, his attention to the details and his ability to to articulate those kind of details is like uh, nobody I've ever nobody that I've ever trained with before. And so with Henry, it was really incredible. And he broke down jujitsu and gave us so much conceptual knowledge that we can bring back to wherever we're training and apply it in our own way. And I feel really blessed to have been given this opportunity. So if you have a chance to uh, take a seminar with Henry, great. Um, do it. I just did a seminar with Henry Aikens. In one word, incredible. In several words, groundbreaking and reassuring. It's reassuring to know that I don't know anything. It's reassuring to know that there'll always be something that I can learn about very basic principles and ideas. The things that he shared this weekend are not being taught anywhere. 
So we're privileged to have the opportunity to train with this guy. The energy he gave back, the amount of time he spent answering questions. If you have a chance to get this guy in your jujitsu life, don't mess around. Make it work. Great time, but the best part of it was Henry's teaching. He taught the fundamentals and explained it in such a way that every single detail and every single question that we had was answered. I couldn't have asked for a better time. My name is Jared. I'm a blue belt. This is the third Henry Aiken seminar that I've attended. And every time that I've shown up, he's shown very applicable techniques. Everything is very realistic. It's very attainable. Um, he's a very articulate instructor. And he's actually interested in making sure that his students uh, learn each technique. And it's, it's a really fun time. you got to check it out. I went to the Henry Aiken seminar. It was great. Um, groundbreaking stuff. Uh, anybody gets a chance to train with him, uh, they should do so. The concepts. Um, are are easy to follow and practicable, that's a word, um, in small groups. And it was a, just a very worthwhile experience for me. It's that little invisible stuff that they talk about. Um, you, get, you just got to be there and feel it and to really, really understand it, to really learn it. So if Henry's ever around or anywhere close by, you know, make the trip, it's worth it. You know? Unreal. The, the detail that he presents the clarity of the teaching that he, that he provides, um, pretty pretty well unparalleled, I would say. So uh, I would recommend that anyone who wants to really learn this martial art to seek out Henry. Absolutely. It's amazing. I love Henry. Henry's been coming out three years now. This is my second seminar. You know, so I've trained with him. Two seminars, two days, so four times. And two seminars. Amazing stuff. This time right now, my mind's blown. Just to the prime of Henry. Really enjoyed it. Showed some great concepts, and I would finally recommend it. My time with Henry is almost exclusively stuff that I realized I've been doing wrong or stuff that I didn't know. And that's been really amazing. I feel like, in talking to all these guys, when you start jujitsu, you feel like there's a certain magic to it. And it's really cool that after doing it for a number of years to be able to spend some time and have that same feeling that you discover a lot of brand new magic in jiu-jitsu that you didn't know was there. So it's been awesome. Can't recommend it enough. The basics that I learned this weekend just blew my mind away. Uh, I never knew. It almost feels like that uh, I'm starting back over again, uh, going back to the first grade of kindergarten, and, and it's just so exciting for me. Uh, it's it's re revitalized my excitement for jiu-jitsu. And I'm just going to, this was an investment for me that I can keep for my, my, myself, my, my son, and my family. And it's just going to be an experience that I'm going to move forward on. And I'm looking forward to, to uh, hearing from Henry even more. Thank you so much. This is a four, the fifth or sixth time that I've got to train with Henry. And it just, it's, it's unreal, the concepts and the pressure. And this, this seminar was just amazing. Just, I, I never knew stuff like this existed. Definitely, if they have a chance to train with Henry, it's, it's the best seminar I've ever attended. I've got to train with Hickson and a lot of great jiu-jitsu players. This uh, Henry Aiken seminar, and it, it was great. Um, learned some new moves, but learned some old moves even better. It was one of the best seminars I've been to, and uh, I definitely, when he comes back in town, will go again. It's a great experience. I recommend it for everybody. As always, it was exceptional. I never miss a seminar, a chance to do a private lesson with Henry. Uh, he has as good and high of a technical level as anyone I've ever seen. He learned from the master of jiu-jitsu, and it shows. Um, he has a jiu-jitsu that very few people have the authority or the knowledge to teach, and an incredible understanding of weight distribution and technique. And if you're ever anywhere near a seminar or a lesson that he's going to teach or a chance to go to his academy, don't miss it because it'll be game-changing and life-changing for you. Actually excited and overwhelmed to go back and to train these over and over and over again. Um, he has a very basic, deep understanding of all the moves which you do not see in any type of instructors um, nowadays. And I've trained all over and with some of the best and champions. And I would say that Henry's understanding exceeds just about all of them. I've known uh, Henry Akins for about 20 years. Uh, he and I started uh, at Hickson's Dojo um, on Pico in 95. Uh, 
I had some other priorities that kind of had to, it had to take a back seat, so I just recently got my purple belt, uh, never too late. But Henry went on to be the third American to get his black belt under uh, Master Helio Gracie's son, uh, Hicks and Gracie. Hicks and Gracie is arguably the best uh, practitioner of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in the universe. Of course, I'm biased. Um, Henry was weaned on that teat of perfect foundational fundamental Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Is that weird? Teat? Um, and I've been studying under Henry recently, uh, the last few years. Um, very thorough instructor, very detail oriented, and it comes from the horse's mouth. Um, that uh, that Gracie lineage. Um, fantastic work experience with Henry. Uh, you really can't go wrong.